Is your ideal way to spend time to delve for long hours into a book by a great philosopher? If it is, you are most probably a sixth chakra type, a thinker. Thinkers have a great fire in them. It is the fire of an intense and probing intelligence that tries to understand. Their ambition is within the mind rather than in the world. That's why they are also seriously ungrounded, distant and detached. Thinkers have very strong and penetrating eyes. They seem to look intently, but not at you. Rather than seeing you, it seems more as if they try to understand you. Their inquiring gaze is often mixed with arrogance, since this type tends to feel that they know it all. With this ironic look, they watch everything and everyone. They have a noble determination to remain unaffected and above ordinary and mediocre human experience. This determination drives them in general to adopt a proud and noble attitude. Thinkers concentrate their entire energy on their overly stimulated intellect. This turns them into energetic minds that drag along their far less interesting and relatively feeble bodies. In the movies, we see aliens with giant heads and <laughs> very thin bodies. In many ways, this is a suitable image of thinkers as well. They also concentrate all their energy in their heads. Thinkers constitute only 5% of the world's population. Their classical representation is the philosopher, the introverted person who sits in the midst of a hectic creation to contemplate and find answers deep within. Thinkers are the great observers of life and humanity. They love analyzing, looking into the ways cosmic and human patterns work. They need to know the why of things, why things work the way they do. Thinkers dedicate great attention to finding the perfect order behind everything. Through constant observation, they, they try to excavate some hidden structure or underlying logic to the world they live in. Their minds are restless, always doubting and questioning, always in a state of intense inquiry, always observing and drawing conclusions. They hate thinking like everyone else. They are challenging thinkers. When they write books, usually these are books that only few can understand. The world as seen through the eyes of a sixth type is a mystery or a riddle that calls for thorough investigation. To them, the existence of unsolvable questions is therefore thrilling, not annoying. Thinkers need to understand is nearly as strong as sexual desire is for other types. For them, it is sometimes a matter of life and death. Six chakra personalities don't experience life from the inside. When thinkers contemplate the world, they usually look at it from an elevated perspective. They see principles and laws more than they see actual things and people. This means that they have little regard for relationships and emotions. Six chakra types won't dance at a party. When they give it a try, they end up watching themselves dancing. Thinkers possess highly systematic scientific minds and are usually quite brilliant, inventive and unconventional. But because they live only in their heads, this type tends to forget all about the real world. 
they are also proudly judgmental and critical. And because they are unable to enter fully into experience, they tend to think that if they think about experience, that is sufficient. So, if you are a sixth chakra type, here's a tip for you. Try to experience things without interpreting or understanding them. At least sometimes experience an emotional state without giving in to the immediate urge to analyze it.